Alright guys, so welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going to talk about incremental and decremental operators. So in the last, uh, pretty much throughout the series, we know so far uh, on how to update variables, how we can add variables with each other, right? We can just use the addition operator. For example, we can, we have this variable let y equal 2, and then we can say y is equal to y plus 5, which in this case is going to be 2 plus 5. And so the value of that is 7. The value of y is 7. Or we can also use a combined assignment operator for addition. So we can just do y plus equals 5, which is the same thing. So we know two ways on how we can uh, pretty much add the current values to variables. Now let's just say, for example, if we just wanted to update the value by 1, right? You would say something like, okay, well, we can just do y equals y plus 1 or y plus equals 1. And that would just pretty much update the value by 1. Okay. However, there's actually another... Uh, operator that we can use and these are called incremental operators as well as decremental operators okay so incrementing basically adds one to the operand okay so in this case if we do y plus plus in this case plus plus is the incremental operator it's going to add one to the value of y okay so whatever the, let's say for example if y was eight if we do y plus plus then y is going to be nine and likewise decremental operators when you use y minus minus right over here right it subtracts one from the current value of that variable and the value is just going to go down by one okay so let's actually you know take a look at some of these examples in code so let me go ahead and just make a new file let's just call this i don't even know what to call this uh i'll just call this ep7 i think okay so let's declare a variable let's say let y equal 10 Okay, or you know what? Let's actually do let hours work equal zero. Okay, let's just let's just kind of like simulate some kind of program where we are totaling the amount of hours that we're working. Okay, so let's go ahead and just increment the value of this by one. So again, we can do it by just saying hours worked. We take that current variable. We're assigning, remember the equal sign is the assignment operator. This is used for assigning values to variables. We're saying hours worked is equal to hours worked. So the current value of hours worked plus whatever other literal value we want or whatever variable var variable value we want. In this case, we're just going to add by one. Okay. And if we log to the console, we can see that let's just do node ep7.js one. Okay. And we can also do it using the combined assignment operator like this. Okay. And if we log that to the console, Two. And then we can also just do hours work plus plus, which is a much faster operator we can use. Okay. And we have one, two, and three. Perfect. All right. So let's decrement. Uh, let's just say, um, let's say, for example, let's do another example. So let me comment all this out and let's do let gallons equals 10. Let's say we have 10 gallons of gas, right? And let's say, you know, we're driving, we're driving, we're driving, and let's say the amount of gallons of gas went from 10 to 9. So we do something like gallons, you know, equals gallons minus 1, or we can do gallons minus equals 1, we can do gallons minus minus. So you can guess the value of gallons is going to be 7. Okay. There you go. And that's how you would decrement. Okay. Very, very straightforward. Okay. Now, one thing that I should mention is that you can also use these incremental operators before the operand. So let me actually explain what, what let me actually show you what I mean by that. So let's comment this part out and let's uncomment this. So let me actually just get rid of these because we don't really need these. And instead, what I'll do is I can actually put the plus plus, the operator, in front of the variable. Okay. And you're probably going to wonder, well, isn't that just going to add one regardless, right? And yes, you're right. It's still going to add one. But there's actually some semantical difference between uh, having the operator in front of the variable and after variable. So to formally define it, basically, when we had the operator in front, this is called a post incremental operator. Or we should we call it post fix mode, post fix mode rather. But you can also call it post increment. Okay. So this operator is working in postfix mode. And what that means is that this operator is only going to update the value of the operand after, after this value has been used in an expression. Okay, so it's a little bit confusing, but let's go ahead and show some examples. So I think I do have some examples uh, right over 
here. And yeah, as you can see, I mentioned that there, these are in postfix mode. And to really understand it, we'd have to actually see what it, how we have, we'd actually have to compare and contrast to prefix mode. Okay, so this is in postfix mode, and this is also in this is in prefix mode. Let me just write that there. Okay, so let's try using example to understand what's going on. Okay, so let's go ahead, and I think I, okay, I have a good example over here. So let's say, let's get rid of all this. Let's declare a variable. Let's say y is equal to five. Whoops. And now let's say uh, let's uh, I don't know result equals. Okay. So let's do. Whoops. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the post fix mode for incremental operator. We're going to do y plus plus. We're going to multiply this by five, and then we're going to add it by. We're going to add ten to it. We're going to add ten to the product. Okay. So you're probably wondering. Okay. What's the value? What's the answer of? What's the value of result? Okay, you're probably going to think, okay, well, y plus plus 6, okay, so 6 times 5, 30, 30 plus 10, 40. So the answer of result, or the value of result, should be 40. But if we run this, you can see it says 35, okay? Now, you're probably wondering, well, why is that the case? Okay, so let me explain. So again, this, we're using this incremental operator in postfix mode. So what that means is that this, this operator will only update the value of y after y has been used in our expression. So in this case, we're actually instead of it's actually five times five rather than six times five. Okay, remember we're using the value of y. The current value of y is five. We're taking five. We're evaluating it with the rest of this expression. So five times five is twenty-five, and then twenty-five plus ten is thirty-five. And that's why the result of the, that's why the result is equal to thirty-five. Now, y is actually six. After this line of code is executed, y is actually 6. So y does get updated by 1, but only after the expression has been evaluated, or after the, the, uh, the operand has been used in the expression. And you can see y is 6 rather than 5. Okay, so hopefully that makes some sense. Now let's, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, pref uh, prefix mode. So instead of y++, plus plus, we'll do plus plus y. And you're probably, okay. So what's the difference between prefix and postfix? So prefix actually updates the value before that variable, before the operand is actually used in the expression. So y is actually going to be updated first. So we're going to do y a plus. So we're going to add 1 to y. So that's 6. So now it's 6 times 5 and then add 10. And that's going to give you 40. So if we log this to the console, you're going to see that the value of that is 40. So hopefully that makes some sense. I know it could be a little bit confusing, but there are certain situations where you might want to use prefix and there are some situations where you want to use postfix. Again, it just really depends on the situation. Okay, so um, yeah, let's, and again, the same thing with the decremental operator as well. It works the same way. So let's say if I wanted to do y minus minus, it would subtract one from y only after this expression is evaluated. So we have five times five plus 10, that's still going to be 35, right? And then y, however, is going to be four. Okay, y is still gonna be four. Now watch this, what if we did result equals minus minus y times five plus 10? So what's the value of that gonna be? Okay, so y currently is four. Okay, however, we are using a prefix decremental operator. So in this case, we're going to subtract 1 from 4, so that's going to be 3. Then 3 times 5 is going to be 15 plus 10, that's going to be 25. So the value of result is going to be 25. And I really hope that makes sense. And if it doesn't, you know, just practice it yourselves, play around with it, think of ways you can play around with it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else to talk about with... Uh, with uh, these uh, operators. It's a very, very straightforward, very, very straightforward topic. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. We're going to talk about loops in the, uh, in the next episode. All right, so I'll see you guys in that episode. Peace.